So men have been moving logs and stones and all sorts of things, big heavy things, for thousands of years, and they have not had heavy machinery. A cant hook, some leverage, creating your own fulcrum, and you can move a lot of weight pretty quickly. Some people ask me how I move these big logs around without heavy equipment. Once these logs are stacked, I do everything by hand. I gotta be careful, obviously, because a lot of times I work alone, but I always try to make sure somebody's nearby. Um, one thing I, I uh, consider when moving these logs is, uh, well, I'm about 150 pounds, and these logs would be anywhere from 600 pounds to about 3,500 pounds. So how does someone this small move it? Well, most of the work is done by the cant hook or a PV. It's a pretty simple tool. It allows you to spike a log and then uh, once you spike it, you can put about a thousand foot-pounds of torque in it pretty easily, even for a little guy like me. The other thing is, I use these logs, I balance the center. If I need to turn a log left or right, I can balance the center on a log, turn it, roll it, turn it back again, and drop it in place. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So, as I move things around, I kind of put stop blocks in there like that. Okay, so now I'm still on the center of that log there. So as I move it, I can go ahead and turn it. like that. Now it's in the direction I want it to go. It's a little bit more there. So I can drop this out of the way. I'm going to switch my little guy here. I like this guy better. Easier to handle. I want to put it back up on the mill. I want to line it up with the mill. So I'll pick the center point here, roughly right there. Once it comes down, I'll be able to turn it back towards the mill. And now it's lined up with the mill. So as you can see, just using balance points, this log is probably just at a thousand pounds, depending on the species, but using balance points, you can move these things around pretty easily. Notice on this big log, I get behind it for safety, and the log that's upright is there to stop it from whirling all the way down so I can get position again for a second turn. Fulcrums can be wedges, knots, parts of the log, or even entirely different logs, like you see here. I use these other logs to keep the log positioned in the center so I can move it at any time. The small log being put into place now is for me to be able to position it parallel with the bed. Danielle is bracing the right side of the log, and so it doesn't roll onto the mill too early. Now that it's balanced, we can put it parallel to the bed, and from there, it rolls on quite easily. Well, normally we use horses for everything, but uh, we had to sell the horses to get the property. So we're using our trusty truck here to do our horse work. Now, sometimes you need a specific log for a specific size and a specific purpose, and unfortunately, this log is right in the middle of the pile. So we're going to try to pull it out of the pile and get it down to the lumber mill. I like to use logging tongs when logging because it keeps the log in a certain position and you have better control. It also keeps the mud isolated to one side, which is important when you're milling. Normally these logging tongs, you just stick them in and go, but since they have to hang there, we had to hammer them in with a mallet. So let's go. Okay, turn right.
So the advantage of horses is that they're highly maneuverable, much more maneuverable than that truck. You see, we have to pull it around and unhook it, roll it, hook it again and drag it in front of the mill. With horses, they could come around here and put that thing right in front of the mill first try without unhooking. That's the advantage and that's why we're hoping that we can get another team back here and start working again. I've talked before about some of the dangers that we experience here and we try to take a lot of precautions in order not to get injured, but sometimes it happens. This little finger here, well, it's not much, but it's very useful and when you hurt it, it uh, really sets you back quite a bit. So I was flipping a beam over here on the lumber mill and it got trapped between this steel beam and the log and it crushed the tip of the finger. And in fact, uh, the finger has a lot of nerves in the end of it and I kind of went into shock a little bit. Uh, Danielle actually had to take me to the emergency room and, and sure enough, they said, yes, you crushed the tip of your finger and uh, not a whole lot we can do about it. But safety is priority around here and I try not to work out here without Danielle or somebody around. They check on me frequently and I always have a cell phone with me so if something happens I can call right away. So be safe. Thanks again for watching. Hey, we're reaching another milestone here at Redgate Farm. We're approaching 10,000 subscribers. You know, every time you watch a video, you are supporting this farm and what we do and the educational goals and mission that we have for Redgate Farm now and in the future. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. So maybe next week we can hit the big 10,000.